What up everybody, Dr. JP Gidry here. Just finished a little workout here in the dark and the heat. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about supplements. I get questions from time to time on what supplements should I take. Um, you know, and the reality is, is most of the supplements out there are BS, they're garbage. They're just uh, well marketed, um, you know, things you're just gonna piss out for lack of better words. Uh, but there are some good things out there. There are some things with some science and evidence behind them. Uh, number one is whey protein. Um, you know, and, and using protein to supplement your meals. Um, obviously, you know, we prefer to get protein from our foods first, but there's nothing wrong with utilizing whey protein to uh, make sure you hit your numbers on a daily basis. Um, usually, I prefer a whey isolate. It's just digest better. Obviously, if you have issues with dairy, there are other options out there. But some kind of a protein uh, supplementation, make sure it's low calorie, doesn't have a lot of sugar, all that good stuff in it. Number two is creatine, by far the number one. I take it daily, five grams a day. Plenty of evidence on how safe it is and how effective it is for anybody that's wanting to improve performance, improve muscle building, strength, that type of thing. Uh, you know, you don't really need to do the loading phase just five grams a day. There's plenty of mental, physical benefits to creatine, and it's been, it's probably the most studied supplement out there. Uh, those are kind of 1A and 1B. And there's some other things out there that have some evidence behind them. Uh, things like vitamin D supplementation. Definitely a lot of people don't get enough vitamin D. Obviously spending more time outside can help with that, but I do think most people probably need to supplement with some vitamin D. Uh, fish oils is another thing. Again, it's something that we can get from foods, but most people don't. Uh, things like zinc and magnesium. I take a ZMA supplement. You know, less evidence for those things, but there are some benefits shown to that. Uh, but I take a ZMA supplement at night. And then uh, there are some, you know, fruits and greens supplements that if you're not getting enough vegetables, maybe get your nutrients, making sure you get your nutrients. Um, you know, things like multivitamins, again, a lot of that you're just going to piss out and waste your money on, but it's kind of an insurance policy. You know, for the most part, they're safe. You're not going to cause any problems. It just may be wasting money. But the main things are, you know, obviously we're trying to get most of our nutrients from foods or proteins from foods, but it's okay to supplement with protein shakes, powders, bars, just again, make sure they're low sugar, low calorie. Um, creatine definitely number one nothing wrong with that um, vitamin D zinc and magnesium uh, definitely on that list for sure obviously before taking any of these make sure you consult with a doctor if you take any prescription medications make sure they don't interact with that pretty much anything else off that list is probably a waste of time and money uh, if you want a pre-workout caffeine drink a cup of coffee you know there's a bunch of pre-workouts there that have a bunch of you know BS in them uh, you know, really it's just the caffeine that is, is going to give you that alertness with that. Um, so if you have any questions, definitely reach out to me. I can provide some um, references on all this as well. Uh, and hope everybody has a great evening.